Target driveway. They're bringing in uh, all these uh, upscale businesses, you know, all this. But it's not helping the people who live here, who have lived here. It was a rush job. I mean, they could have told the people that last, the first last year, you got to move next year. No, they wait till the last minute of us. You got to move. Then they still want you to pay your rent while you're here. We are going to do things accordingly, with decency, because all that hard and screaming, all they'll do is pat you on the back, tell you yes, and send you on your way. There's strength in numbers. Yes. And um, this can be a little overpowering at times. And sometimes it sounds like an angry mob, and right now you have every reason to be one. Is I believe that this moment is going to change the course of our city. Your advocacy, this moment, don't let this moment pass you by. There are many of us who have been arguing that the city needs more affordable housing, that they can't just build a soft sot works on our community and move us out. We've got to make sure that this is a stand that's taken so that other developers will know around the city we don't do business this way. It's, it's not about the brick and mortar and what we'll replace it, it's about the people that live inside of it. So, I will tell you one thing, this is the only thing I'm going to be able to promise you, that you will be respected through this entire process, and that what has started will not be the way that it will continue. It comes a time when you have to be able to pay $1,000 a month to live in the city of Pittsburgh. Guys, we just saying like, just let the folks know, by January 2017, you must have the ability to pay $1,000 a month. That's the way it is in San Francisco. And if that's the way it's going to be here, give the people, not 90 days, give them two years to start making arrangements to get out of here.